welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the channel again. We're back with another video. I know if you caught the last video, you've seen we ordered some new rims and they are here. Didn't go over the unboxing in that video. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. So hopefully you guys stuck around from the last one to see exactly what we got. So without further ado, let's flip you around and show you what we picked up. All right, so you might have caught it in the last video. We did pick up a set of niche Masano wheels. 20 by 10 for the rear. We got 20 by 9. I got them stored up there because we are waiting for the rubber still. But 20 by 9 for the front. You can see offset for these are plus 40. The fronts are 35. Your center board is 72.7. That's the same on both. 5 by 114.3 because they will be going on the Mustang here once the rubber shows up. But we're in no rush because I don't know if you guys can hear it. And just by the looks of the car, we are still pouring rain. It was snowing and ice and everything the last few days, so no rush to get these on the car. But I figured they're here, so let's show you guys what's in the box. So for those of you wondering how these things are packaged, this one is still freshly sealed. Haven't opened her up and checked yet. Obviously, be careful with the knife when you're cutting into the box, but let's see exactly how they're packaged for you. So we'll open it up. You can see they come with the cardboard on the top. They are wrapped in plastic with a foam ring around the edge, both sides, and then this little nylon sheet over top. Most of the rims nowadays come the same. So we'll get this out of here, show you exactly what we ordered. And we'll go over a little bit of the details of the rim. All right, so like I said, plastic's off. You get this nice foam ring around the edge. Both sides, it's not just one. And then we went with the matte black. I was going to go possibly with a graphite wheel, but I decided to stick with the black. Only difference of what's on the car now is this is a matte black finish, whereas we got the nice shiny gloss black on the car, but I thought this would be a nice little touch, change things up a bit. And like I said, they are 20 inch. These are by 10s. You can see it comes with the center cap. My lugs, I do believe work on here, but don't hold me to that until I get them on the car. I may need to buy new ones, but she should look pretty good on the car, I think. So these are them. Originally, I was thinking of maybe going with either a five spoke or a seven spoke design, but it was just a little too open for me. So I found these, they were really good on pricing. Now keep in mind, these aren't the lightest rims. If you're looking for weight savings, these are lighter than the stock ones. But as for weight of the aftermarket rims, these are definitely not the lightest. They're not I'd say they're mid-range. There is heavier ones, but there's definitely lighter ones as well. But price-wise, these are pretty much smack dab in the middle. You can find a lot that are, you know, twice as much as these, even a little more than double. And then there's also some cheaper versions out there that you might save a couple hundred bucks. But for me, these were looking good. I think they'll look really good on the car. A couple notes. It is matte black. I know it's kind of hard to tell with the weird lighting in here. Once we get it on the car and outside in the sun, whenever it decides to come back, you'll be able to see that. And they do come with the center caps. It's not something you got to buy extra. I know some aftermarket rims, that's an add-on for some reason. I don't really get why. But with Niche, you get them sent with all the wheels. And another thing to keep in mind is stand these up for you your valve stems i don't know if you guys can read this here but it says inner hole or inner valve hole is for the sensor so i did order new tpms sensors for the car because the wheels we got on there now the stock with the winter tires on are going to be our winter set so i'm going to leave everything as is so when these go on if you don't have new sensors, obviously every time you turn on your car, you're gonna get the light telling you no tire pressure. So order new sensors. And what it means by inner hole 
is if you look, this is the back. This would be the outside of your wheel. So if it's sitting on the car, inner hole inside of the car, you got one hole here. This isn't on all rims, but Nish is one of the companies that do this on some of theirs. So your TPMS sensor will go on here. And then if you come out to this side, you can see here, you have your regular, where your average stem would be for a wheel. That you will just have to put an average valve stem in. So just keep that in mind. It is a little weird. I don't know why some companies do that, but you'll have to. So when you need to fill up your tire, if you got low air pressure or you're dropping the air for racing, whatever, you can fill it up, empty it here, but your sensor is in the back. So like I said, the back is a 20 by 10. The fronts are up here, 20 by nines, got the staggered setup. One reason I went with the 20 by 10, I'm not 100% sure how it will fit on the car. I know there is, you can fit 20 by 11s easily on the back of these cars, but it's all with the offset. I'm not a professional on that. So from research on the internet, I found a lot of people went with the tens over a 10 and a half or 11 inch rim. You can get these same ones in the 10 and a half. 11, I'm not sure if they made or not. I didn't look into that. But from most what I've seen, they ran the 20 by 10s and the stance on the car looked pretty good. So I figured I'm not gonna go massive with the back tires, I ordered a 305, which yes, it will fit on a 10 inch rim. So I figured no point of going 10 and a half if it's gonna mess things up and just make life more difficult. I might as well just go with the 10 and a half, or 10, sorry. And one day if we were to boost the car or something and I wanted thicker rubber or different, most likely I would go with a lighter weight rim, maybe switch it up, drag pack, whatever. But these are gonna be our daily rims. So price-wise, you're not breaking the bank and hopefully everything should just fit nice. And then for those of you wondering about the concave of it, I know it's always hard to see on the car and it's hard to see here as well. They do go in just slightly. These are the bigger ones, so obviously the concave will be just a bit more. But with the design of this, these arms come out a little bit before it goes in. And like I said, it's a plus 40 millimeter offset. So basically, center of your rim, it's 40 millimeters out from the middle, to put it simply. I'll go over a little bit more of that in a different video maybe. So the bigger your offset and just the design of the wheel, the more concave you'll get, or less depending which way you're aiming for. But if you're looking for the concave, there's just slightly there. So it should look pretty dang good on the car. And lastly, we will be ceramic coating these. I know it is a matte paint and yes, you can ceramic coat matte paint without it going shiny and glossy. It's not a clear coat, it's a ceramic coat. They are different, even though people on the internet seem to think when you ceramic coat matte paint, it turns it into a gloss paint, but that is not the case. Ceramic coating leaves a layer on there to protect it from dirt make it easy to wash, but it is not a clear coat. So it will not leave that clear coat look, whether you think it will or not, no matter what people tell you on the internet. I know this is on the internet, but you can ceramic coat these. They may have a little sheen to them for a few days, but that's just until it dries 100% and then it will look exactly like this after it's dried. And then one other reason why I went with this look, I was looking at similar to what the Mach 1 comes with now. A little more of a spider design in here, but I've had the performance pack wheels on here now, which I'm sure everybody knows what they look like at by now, but you can see lots of tight little spaces, real pain in the butt to keep clean. So these, on the other hand, you can see when you're going to wash it, even my big hands can fit in there everywhere nice and easy it'll make it easy to clean you'll be able to get in here get at your brakes clean the calipers and everything off get all the brake dust off 
and she should be looking good as new every time you go and give her a wash. So that's it guys, that'll do it for this video. I just didn't want to keep everybody hanging while I was waiting for the rubber. I just thought I'd unbox them, show you what we picked up. Let me know what you think. And of course, once the tires get here, I'll show you guys what we ended up ordering for those. And we'll go over the fitment on the car once it's all mounted and ready to go. So looking forward to that. I'm hoping another week or so we should be getting the weather changed around here a bit. I'm not too worried if it rains. I daily drive this thing. The rain's not going to hurt anything, but I don't want to put the brand new rims on if it's going to be snowing and salting everywhere out there still. I'll keep the winter tires on for that and beat up the old rims. So fingers crossed the weather warms up. Like and subscribe if you want to see them on the car. Hopefully it won't be too long. And for now, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.